tapes. Hawking and Boucher. Boucher wins the knock. Blackaby goes after it. So does Richardson. Richardson's got the ball, but he can't get clear. Kicked out of the centre by Shaw. Knocked away by Langsford for Swan Districts. Daniels has got it. Spins out of trouble nicely. Kicks towards centre half forward. A smother by Kenny. Jamison comes through with a handball to Malaxis. On it goes to Ralph. Ralph shoots into an open goal and brings up full points for Claremont. He, he will get the free kick if he's missed, but it's gone through, so no need of the free kick. And Claremont are two goals, one leading Swan Districts, one goal. Well, a good positive forward move there by Claremont. The chain reaction which uh, drew the Swan Districts forward. Actually, the smother by Kenny deserved a better uh, result for him, really. The ball, he was smothered it well. Gallant effort, there's the ball going over to Ralph, who's only about 15 metres out, and a no trouble for the star full forward. Wayne Blackwell can drive it deep into attack. He fires it towards the outer side. Ralph, ball knocked away by Rance. Socket away by Langsford. Favors Keith Narkle. He boots it to centre half forward now. Richardson stays back. Again, he misjudges the flight of the ball. This is Holmes. Chance now for Pierce. Gets the ball to Shaw. Harassed by Baker. The umpire says it's a good tackle by Baker and gives him the free kick. Holding the ball against Shaw. Leon Baker looking for a lead. Richardson's out wide. Not a good kick by Baker. Puts Richardson right. under pressure. Shine goes in now. Aitken with him. Shine wins the day. Handball through to Richardson to Keith Narkel. Through it goes to uh, Holmes. Holmes doesn't shoot. Goes to Blackaby. 12 metres out. Lines them up and kicks a goal for Swan District. Well, they hung onto the ball for a long time, but it paid off. Pushed out by side bottom to Keith Narkel. Claremont making errors there in the centre. There goes Blackaby. Shaw rides him into the ground. The umpire says play on. In goes Canther. And he gets the high tackle and he'll take the free kick near centre half back. Handballs to Pierce. Pierce kicks out wide. Aitken's out there for Claremont. Plays on. Tries to get around Phil Narkel and does. Kicks the ball out wide. A chance for Daniels. Daniels a little short kick. Doesn't come off. It's taken by Baker. His kick is well smothered. Golding now with a hand pass back to Aitken. Aitken shrugs them off nicely, puts it up towards right half forward, and Daniels takes the mark. Boucher coming in to tackle. Tackled him a bit high. 15 metres against Boucher. <laughs> Daniels now to take the kick. It's a nice torpedo towards full forward. Vansberg under the ball. You'll have to judge it better than that. This is Warren Ralph. Again, he shoots into an open goal, and he puts it through. The second time he's fired one back into an open goal. Very competitive game of football at the moment as Hocking waits there for the knock. Takes the knock down to Blackwell. Out wide. Phil Narkel's unsighted here and coming through as Golding to take the mark. Phil Narkel didn't seem to know where that ball was. Golding angles it in towards centre half forward. Out comes Ralph. From behind, knocked away by Rance. Bursting through as Reynolds now for Clermont. Hooks it back to full forward. Missed by Richardson down there. Taken by Shaw. Over it goes. Jamison takes the shot from in the goal square. Claremont four goals, three, leading Swan Districts, three goals. Narkel kicks to the outer wing. And side bottom claims the mark and takes a good one in front of the scoreboard. Plays on quickly to centre half forward. Kranzberg. Shine. Gets round Moss easily now. Brad Shine kicks towards full forward. Baker takes a good mark. Got away from Betts. Going the same way as the ball. Good clever mark by Leon Baker right in front. 25 metres out. Drop punt is hooked by Baker, but it's scraped in, I think. It's a full pointer. Still bets. Oh. Holmes now. Too far out to score. And goes for the short pass to Ed Blackaby, and it comes off, and Blackaby will take a shot at goal. 35 metres out. Right full forward pocket. Swans can hit the front. Uh, three points down as he shoots up towards the railway end. On there behind, I think. Yes, and Swans are 4-1. Clamot a 4-3. Very difficult shot that was, kicking straight into the breeze. The breeze coming in from around about the, uh, what, southwest. Betts boots to the outer side. Sartori behind. Interferes with Hocking, and Hocking gets the free. Hocking kicks towards the centre. Moss is there with Boucher. From behind, Jamison went up and Kranzberg. Pushed out by Boucher. Goes to Canther. Canther kicks towards centre-half forward. Malaxis and Kenny. 
Good play, Malaxis. Another open goal. Yes, and a shot at goal by Reynolds, marked by Ralph, and he again shoots into an open goal and kicks his third for the quarter. Claremont go up to five goals, three. Swan Districts, four goals, one. And the Swan Districts back, but not quite sure whether to go meet the play or hang back. They're getting caught in between. There's good shepherding by Malaxis, recovering well. There's the handball going out nicely to Reynolds. There's the hurried kick onto his wrong foot. Hits uh, Ralph on the chest. His marksman had fallen over. And uh, so three goals already to Warren Ralph. Vanessa kicks out uh, towards half forward. Shaw. Well grabbed by Kranzberg. He made sure he couldn't play on there. It's a fair bit of pressure in the game. The Shaw kicks up towards full forward. Rance goes up. Can't hold the mark. With Langsford. Langsford clears. Right down the wing he goes towards Richardson. And Richardson takes a good mark over the top of Brad Reynolds. Been a pretty quiet player, Richardson. In towards centre half forward. Taken away from Baker by Aitken. Baker tackles, but Aitken gets away from him. Puts it out to Moss. Moss a long kick now. Inside the half forward line finds Jamison. Jamison too far out to score. Goes up towards the goal square. Ralph from behind. Doesn't judge it well. Malaxis. Certain goal to Claremont. You can't stop him once he gets a bit of a run on like that. Once he got the momentum, it was all over. Claremont 6-4, 40, leading Swan Districts 4-2-26. And very loose defensive play by Swan Districts again. Once again, we see a Claremont player running into an open goal. There's uh, Jamison getting a kick away right into the full forward line. No one behind for Swan Districts. The tackle is too late. Malaxis breaks the tackle easily and puts it through. Blackaby kicks it right down the wing. Sartori will go high. Went for the punch, but it was knocked on brilliantly by Betts to Daniels. Jamison's in front, Kranzberg's with him. Jamison outpaces him easily, recovered much the better. Plays it wide into what's centre half forward now to Shaw. Shaw takes the shot from 35 metres, put away the glasses. Another goal to Claremont. 7 4 now, 46, one district's 4 2, 26. And the Claremont showing signs of getting right on top, and wasn't the recovery from Kranzberg very slow? They went for the mark. There's Jamison beating Kranzberg by 10 metres to that ball. Nicely over to Shaw. He straightens up, no pressure on him at all, and a class player, Gary Shaw, as we've said before, and he makes no chance, no takes, uh, he doesn't miss chances like that. So once again, we see the Swan District's backman slow, cumbersome, and uh, really not getting into the game as they should be. Blackwell kicks a half distance, one to the centre. Daniels takes the mark. It's a loose man here, Jamison on this side, but he goes the other way. Out wide to Kanther. Kanther draws the man. Golding can take a shot. It's very close to quarter time. Fires in from 40 metres. Good kick. That's a goal. Good bit of football by Claremont. Right out of defence and a movement started by Tom Pierce. And Claremont go to eight goals four. Swan Districts four goals three. Swans unable to get their run on game going, mainly because their players are not running. Rants to the outer side. Kranzberg flies high, taps the ball on. Davidson clears to the half forward line. Side bottoms got oh. the good run of the ball, couldn't hold the mark. Betts is with him now. The umpire pays a free kick to side bottom, held by the arm. Side bottom from right half forward. Not many tall forwards down there. Sartori is one, he's the exception. Gets in front of Moss, but Moss judges it far better than Sartori. Played on. Baker got, smothered the ball there. Not like Moss to make a mistake like that. They're going ferociously. Hook shot by Keith Knuckle is a goal. Swan Districts get one out of nothing, really. Swan Districts 5 3 33. Claremont 8 6 54. Capes bouncing it down. Sartori wins the knock. Richardson's got the ball. Threw that ball away, Richardson. Aitken dives on it. Scrambly football now. Keith Knuckle. A way off line. It's out of bounds on the full, I think. No, it's one behind. It's just scraped in for a point. Well, any score is better than nothing. Swans go to 5-6. Claremont 8-9. Um, Burgess for Satori. Yeah, Burgess coming on, number 28. Satori's off, number 15. He hasn't been able to get possession down there in the forward line for Swan Districts all day. Now an opportunity for Panizza. Panizza kicks towards left half forward. Getting in front here is Kranzberg. And he repels the attack. His first kick straight to a Claremont player. Canther's got the mark. Canther handballs to Reynolds. And Baker gets in front to mark for Swan Districts. Baker playing in the centre. Todd forced to make changes. He's taken Shine out of the middle. 
There's Langsford now kicking the ball forward over centre half forward. By, oh, Burgess went up. I thought he was going to spoil side bottom, but he hasn't. That was a particularly good mark by Big Allen side bottom. Backing back into the pack, showing good courage, and there he is leaning backwards, taking a very strong mark. And Burgess, I would think, showing good judgment and not spoiling side bottom. So side bottom right in front of goals. 45 metres out. High kick. Goal umpire not moving much. Now he is, but it's got him for a goal. Aitken out to the grandstand side and floating in as Hocking to take the mark. He's been an effective player, Hocking. Hocking, not a good kick. It's gone right off the side of the boot, but finds a teammate, Golding. Pushed over by Fitzgerald. 15 metres will be the uh, benefit here to the Claremont flat. Brings him right up onto the half-forward line. Golding's a good kick. He puts it up towards full forward. Ralph uh, couldn't get near enough to mark that. Watson's got it for Claremont. Rance handballs back to Fitzgerald. He kicks towards the centre of the ground. Holmes knocks it on, looking for Richardson, but Reynolds is there. Pushed through by uh, Holmes to Richardson, but he can't get away from the pack, and umpire Bucky will bounce on the centre wing, just uh, wide of the centre circle, out of side. 8-9 Claremont, 6-7 Swans. 18-minute mark, Boucher winning the knock, and the umpire also paying him a free kick. Now, Bounce is really starting to exert an influence on the game now. He's played well right from the start, but he's starting to dominate. This is Blackaby, out wide to Richardson. This is more the type of football that Swan Districts play every week. Baker nudged out of it. Moss. Now going after the ball down there is Sear. Now it's Burgess. And passed out by uh, Clermont to Blackwell. And they get the ball on nicely to Shaw. Shaw out wide to Peneza. And there's a run up towards left half forward. Skorowski takes the mark. Heavy clash there. Skorowski boots it back to half forward. Shaw in front. Oh, look at side bottom go in. Planted the boot right in the middle of Shaw's back. The umpire has a word with Bucky. Shaw's got the free kick. Oh, that wasn't, uh, that was pretty crude by side bottom. Boucher going up, gets met solidly, gets paid the mark. Golding went in there ferociously into uh, side bottom. Some heavy thumping going on there, or bumping as Blackaby puts the ball across field. Side bottom comes through. Missed by Phil Narkle, pushed out by Harper, goes to Keith Narkle. Keith Narkle up to full forward now. Moss, Richardson, and that's a good straight kick by Richardson for full points to Swans. As the ball going in from Keith Narkle. No big men there for Swans, but they contested the mark. A bad defensive play by Claremont. Two men in the air. No one on the ground. Richardson roves the, the uh, pack well. And uh, a sharp shooter is Mike Richardson. He brings up his first. And a very valuable one for Swan Districts, who are lacking method when going into attack. Burgess is against Moss. Moss has the front spot. Wins the knock. Cleared away by Pierce. Right down the wing he comes. Side bottom and Golding. And at the back, Langsford takes the mark. Langsford kicks towards centre half forward. Richardson and Reynolds. Reynolds thumps it away. Melrose puts a quick one up towards the forward line. Harper. Pierce. Pierce kicks to the half back flank. Golding's outnumbered. Two to one, but nearly took the mark. Phil Narkel. Handballs to Keith Narkel. Langsford. Melrose. Keith Narkel. Oh, smothered. Burgess knocks it across goal. Morton knocks it away. Volleyball. Yes. And Daniel's got a hand pass over and the ball cleared upfield by uh, Harper, is it? And Golding gets the ball, but it's out across the line. And it's uh, going to be thrown in. Just inside the left half forward flank for Swans. We're about to go to time on in the second term. Claremont 9-9, Swans 7-7. Seven, seven. Moss wins the knock to Shaw to Daniels, out of bounds on the full. The free kick will be taken by Leon Baker. Daniels has ceased to be a dominating player. In fact, I'd say Phil Narkel's got right on top of him this quarter. Baker kicks towards full forward. Moss glides in. The ball is missed down there by uh, Hocking. Handball by Richardson, intercepted by Reynolds. He kicked it straight to Skorowski. He gives the ball to Melrose. He's a good kick, Melrose. Fires it in straight. Good kick, a goal. Kicks into the centre of the ground. From behind is Burgess. Got a ride off a couple of players. Used the hand, but got away with it. Knocks the ball onto Holmes. 
Holmes pushes it out, but uh, it's cleared away by eight for Claremont. Not a good kick. Melrose up in the air with Pemeza. Knocked away by Swan Districts towards the centre wing position. And Burgess has got the ball. Now it's Holmes. Holmes up towards half forward. And Boucher comes down from the pocket to take to Park. Gets the Bronx tear from the Claremont supporters. He's a bit too far out to bring up a score, Boucher. Puts it across towards the goal mouth now. And Burgess takes the mark, going the same way as the ball into the pack. He's had a lot of courage there, Keith. Yes, he did. And uh, he's a very promising player, is, uh, is Burgess. I thought he took one earlier on a centre-half forward that wasn't paid just a few moments ago. He's right in front. He can narrow the gap to two points here. Chris Burgess. Can he kick it straight? He looks as if he has. Yes, it's full points to Swan Districts. 9-7 to them. 9-9 to Clement. Rance with the kick off from the showgrounds end. Getting in front, Hocking. Side bottom nearly out, Mark him. In the front of the pack, Reynolds squirts the ball out towards uh, Hocking. His kick goes up into the forward pocket. Played back nicely by Ralph, but uh, Clement can't capitalise. And the ball cleared away by Langsford. Melrose near the centre. Watson pushes the ball out to Shaw. Shaw from centre half forward. Long shot at goal. Pretty good. Oh, Ralph takes the mark. Thought for a moment Shaw might clear the pack with his kick, but Warren Ralph glided in beautifully right in front of goals. He's going to shoot up to that uh, showgrounds end for his fifth goal. Got no hope of missing from there. He puts it through for four points. Kicked it right up to the back of the crowd. Clermont 10-10, lead Swans 9-7. Well, a mistake by Swan District. Graham Melrose had the run of the ball and uh, should have taken it away for Swan District. It was Shaw who picked it up and shot the long kick into the square. And the advantage of having marking power on the square. Ralph in from the side. That's a great mark by Warren Ralph. Had the run on the ball. Two Swan District defenders there. And, of course, a few metres out. Uh, easy target for his fifth shot. Umpire Capes has it in the middle. Side bottom drucking for Swan. Hocking for Clermont. Side bottom wins the tap to Blackaby. Melrose, he gets it out of the centre now towards Holmes and Pierce. Harper comes through for Clermont. Pierce towards the scoreboard wing. Skorowski goes after the ball with Watson. Coming in as Daniels. Daniels towards Watson. Right half forward flank. Oh, it's met solidly down there by Fitzgerald, but ducks back infield. Puts it up towards full forward. Kenny goes up, knocks it away from Malaxis. Ralph's got it. Handball through now. Chance for Reynolds. He socket a goal. Reynolds has socket a goal for Claremont. A much improved player. There's the ball going in. Ralph coming through strongly. That's good ground play by the full forward. Tackled strongly. A good handball sets the ball out into the open spaces for Claremont. It bounces away from Reynolds, but he plays well, almost like a soccer player. He'll come towards the centre. Who's he looking for? Burgess. Let's uh, Clemont in. Jamison. Nice hand pass to Canther. Now it goes to Panizza. Well smothered by Langsford. Jamison's after him, but uh, good shepherding by Swans. Allows Langsford to clear towards Keith Narkel. Melrose. Daniels goes after him, but Melrose puts it up to the half forward line. Shine in front. Misses the mark. Moss has missed the ball. In goes Holmes. Handball's back to Richardson. Gets around Moss, fires it in Richardson for full points. It's good intelligent play by Holmes, getting the ball over to Richardson. Ducks around onto his left foot, he can kick either foot competently and uh, made no mistake. And so Richardson looming now as a danger man for Claremont. Harper, out wide. Phil Narkel's in the pack, but too many Claremont players. The mark has been taken by Jamison. Plays on to Watson. Watson out of the forward pocket. Fitzgerald's got this one covered for Swan Districts. Plays on quickly towards Langsford and Baker. The ball bounces kindly for Langsford. And Swan's come out of defence. Down the scoreboard side. Nobody could mark. Pushed forward by Blackaby. And a clearance away by Swan Districts hocking. Uh, but Claremont's hocking only as far as Melrose at centre-half back. Melrose kicks towards the boundary on the grandstand side. Judge that one well, Melrose, a defensive kick. Davidson was well in field and being guarded by Panizza. Melrose had no one to give the ball to. Now side bottom comes in to contest the issue with Murray Smith. Side bottom wins the knock. Panizza went in tentatively for the ball. So did Canther, but he got it over towards Blackwell. 
Right up to full forward on oh, a high leap by Kenny. Now Fitzgerald, a hand pass to Rance. Not a good kick. Phil Narkel and Daniels picked up by Watson. Watson to Malaxis. Malaxis a long handball to Ralph. Ralph shoots from 35 metres out. Good kick. A goal. He's a brilliant full forward. Warren Ralph. Well, that Claremont are in front by nine points. I think Swan Districts are playing the better football. Up onto the wing. Knocked away from Fenezza by Keith Narkel for a boundary throw-in. Would you agree with that statement, Keith? The Swans are playing the better football? Yes, they are, and it's all brought about by the dominance of side bottom. His palming has been absolutely superb, and he's brought Graham Melrose into the game strongly. He beats uh, Hocking again with a knock to uh, Baker. Richardson will knock this on to Blackaby. Oh, weaves through the pack skillfully over to Melrose. Through centre half forward he goes. Puts the long one up towards the square. Bouts are dropping back, takes the mark. Big Ron Boucher right on the edge of the square. By gee, that was a good capture by the big fellow. Not regarded as having a tremendous number of skills, but he showed a lot of skill that time, going the same way as the ball. He can make the difference uh, three points if he kicks a goal. He recently kicked five goals in uh, the match. He kicked both of them in one of the quarters, and he's put this through for full points. And uh, Swans are 12-7. Uh, Failing Clermont 12-10. And Swan's looking very, very good. And uh, that all started again through uh, Alan Sidebottom's knock. And there's the great piece of football. The Black will be taking the ball over to Melrose, who's really come to life. The kick, Melrose looking for Boucher, puts it up high for the big man. He comes in very strongly from the side. Good pair of hands and uh, no mistake. That gives it over now to Golding. I think this is Golding for Clermont. And he clears it away to what's in a half foot. Sidebottom up. Chance for Blackaby. Puts it back onto the grandstand wing, but Golding takes the mark for Claremont. Golding kicks a cross field now towards Shaw. Keith Knuckle floats in, takes the mark. Swans are starting to win vital uh, duels around the ground now, Keith. They're running very hard to contest them, George. That's why they're starting to win them. Keith Knuckle kicks short towards the half-forward line. The player in front is uh, Burgess. They no, know. it's Baker. Baker kicks in towards centre half forward. Up goes Betts. Knocks the ball away from Burgess. Claims the mark of the second attempt. Not paid. It's Richardson to Blackaby. He shoots at goal from 35 metres. An open goal mouth. And it's bounced the wrong side of the goal post. Now this is near the point of the centre square. Clermont slightly in attack. Boucher knocks it to Richardson. Watson's got it. Can't do anything effective with the ball. In goes Swan Districts to Richardson. He gets it out of the pack. Daniels in front for Claremont. There's a terrific amount of pressure on. Baker shepherding for Blackaby. Baker gets the ball out. Now it's Claremont through Canter. Out to Daniels. He socketed the ball back to Aitken and he gets tackled high. And Aitken will get the free kick. Two minutes at a time on in the third term. Won't be all that long a quarter. Aitken kicks long to the half forward line. Kranzberg in front. Knocks the ball down for Blackaby. He pushes it through to Melrose. And away he goes, the Clamont, uh, Swan's captain, up into the forward pocket, Sheer nearly marked that, comes down to Aitken. Aitken clears towards the scoreboard side. Baker goes after it with Daniels. Baker, brilliant football, gets away from Daniels. Puts it up towards the full forward line, Betts crashes into the pack, Moss is down, the shot at goal has been taken by Swan District at Swords, bounce back to Boucher. No, Richardson, Richardson has kicked the goal. But Burgess took a shot. It looked like it was going to go through. Bounced about a metre short of the goal line. Back into play. He sent it through. That Richardson was there. The off of tennis. And Swans are 15-8, leading Claremont 12-10. With the ball going to Burgess. He takes the ball. He's been a good player at centre half forward for Swan District. Kicks it right up into the square. Instead of bouncing through, the ball bounces straight up like a centre bounce. Good quick thinking by Richardson. Straight down onto his boot. Now, there's a long kickoff by uh, Swan Districts out of the fence by Kenny. Diving onto the ball is uh, Blackwell. He drives it back towards full forward. Knocked away by uh, Langsford. Chance on the half forward line for Watson. Gets the ball over now to uh, Canther. He gives the ball across to Daniels. He hooks the kick, dropping short. Moss is down there, takes the mark. Good mark, at post to, uh, to uh, I think it's Rance down there. And uh, Moss now to take a shot at goal from about five or six metres out. Shine is back on the field for Swans. 
Now, can Moss convert? It's only about a 45 degree angle. 16 points the difference in favour of Swans as Moss drives it through for full points. Oh, oops. There's a Swan District supporter and Morton exchanged blows there. That the supporter is wearing a Swan District's Guernsey. He Real can't be reported, but can he? No, he can't <laughs> be reported. He's got, probably got no number on Ken. It's a ten and a half forward for Swans. Furlong dives onto the ball, pushes it out to uh, Aitken. Aitken clears up onto the wing. Daniels. Now Ort Moss. Play, play on, says the umpire. There's Kransberg with a long high kick to the forward pocket. Side bottom and Hocking. Hocking spoils. Burgess goes in and goes to ground, but both teams are fighting fiercely for possession and nobody can get out of the pack. What a powerful tackle by Ron Boucher and Graham Moss. Up on that centre wing just a few moments ago. Capes with a bounce. 20 metres from the Swans goal. Side bottom got the better of the tap, but uh, nobody could get a kick in there. Another bounce by Pike Capes. This is about the fourth or fifth bounce in that forward pocket in the last two or three minutes. Side bottoms won some wonderful taps, but the players are swooping very quickly in for the tackle, and not, the little men are not, not able to get away with it. He's up against uh, Harper this time, but the bounce favors side bottom. Breaks the tackle, takes the shot, and an opportunity for Furlong to clear. Panizza in front, can't take the mark. Richardson, long shot at goal by Richardson. Here's danger for Clement. Disputed mark, and the ball's forced through for one behind. By you, that was desperate play. The difference is two points. Swans in front. I think I said four points. Moss wins the knock. And the umpire takes to bounce the ball again. Pretty hard to understand how Peter Satori is in during the rucking now. The two best ruckmen off the ball. They vouchers in there now, I notice. Won't be a particularly long last quarter. I'd say there wouldn't be any more than about four minutes of time on in this game. We've got about a minute and a half to go in the time on. Brilliant run by Panezza. Right up to full forward. Ralph from behind. Couldn't mark it. Malaxis. Malaxis puts Claremont in front. Claremont are back in front. 17-16 to Swan District. 17-12. Narkel's away now. Swan District's only need a goal to take back the lead. Narkel puts it up to full forward. No mark paid. Moss gets the hand pass to Furlong. Furlong over to Aitken. Shine comes in, dives straight at the ball. Phil Keith Narkel gets a push in the back and he'll get the free kick and Panizza gives away the free. Narkel plays on, Panizza catches him, play on. It goes to Watson. Watson kicks it as far as he can to set a half forward. Oh, missed down there by Kenny. Uh, the ball knocked away by Shear. Now it comes back to Rance. He gives it back to Shear. Shear gives it to uh, Boucher. In goes Richardson. Swans need a long kick here. For about a minute and a half of the time on, Phil Narkel spoiled at the last moment by Moss, but Phil Narkel recovers. He's about 50 metres from goal. In goes Aitken now, tackled by Phil Narkel. It comes to Furlong. Claremont lead by four points as the mark's taken by Panizza. Claremont 17-16, Swans 17-12. Panizza kicks to the centre, and the mark is taken by Blackwell. Blackwell over to Canter. Uh, Canter out wide now, looking for Ralph. In goes Daniels. He can get it right up deep. He's taking a long time, Daniels. Now he kicks a long one towards full forward. Malaxis at the back. He takes the mark, Malaxis. Right in front of goal, umpire Bucky pays the mark from behind. A great mark by Malaxis. And what a way to celebrate his goal. 21st birthday, George. 21st birthday today. Not many kicks today to Malaxis, but that was a brilliant mark under pressure over the top of Kranzberg and Kenny and he's right in front of goal and I think this will be the sealer Claremont lead by four points 17-16 to 17-12 and Malaxis fires it in kicks the goal Claremont looks pretty safe 18-16